Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today, I am so excited. I am unboxing my premium and base box from Lumi. It is a monthly subscription box, and these are the boxes for May, and I'm so excited. I also did buy a whole lot of other stuff from their pop-up shop that they do every month, um, and in that pop-up shop, they have a lot of heavily discounted items. So I did pick up two mystery boxes, and I also picked up some colorful eye primers and eyeliners. Um, I think from the top of my memory, that's what I ordered. So I'm really excited to see those. This is quite a big package compared to what they normally are. I'm just gonna plug my phone in so it charges while we do this. And let's get straight into the video. So this is the box here. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's got all my um, details down. And um, as a single man, I don't want anyone to show up on my door and you know attack me because I'm vulnerable. All right, so let's open her up. Ooh, okay. All right, so we've got, oh, oh. okay, so we've got a bag. This, this might be one of the mystery bags. I don't know, maybe that's why it's like that. We got the two Lumi boxes here. Um, oh, we also have another little package here. Wow, we've got a lot of packages. I also have these two items as well. So all up, I have six packages. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what I got. Um, I don't know which ones are the mystery items, um, which are the ones I ordered from the pop-up shop. So yeah, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with these two boxes first, the base and the premium boxes. Now, the base box does retail for $49 Australian. You do get five full-size items with a guaranteed value of at least $130 all the way up to $200. And then the premium box does retail for $99 and it comes with seven full-size items with a guaranteed value of at least $250 Australian. So I think that's great value. Now, these boxes are available for Australian, New Zealand, and Singapore residents. In Australia, it is free shipping. For Singapore and New Zealand residents, it does have a flat shipping rate of $8.95, which I still think is a great value. Now, I do have a code with Lumi Box, and that saves you 10% off your first monthly subscription box. I do get a small commission from that, so if you don't want to use it, that's fine, but it does save you some money. So yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. So guys, let's start with this one. Um, we'll open her up. This is what it looks like, the box inside does come with a little thank you card with all their social media accounts on the back so you can always find them online and then you do have a sheet of paper with all the um, items on it and which also tells you the price and also where to get those items so we'll read them out to you as I go through the box. So the first item we have is a Lowen Grip Body Balm. This is what it looks like, guys. Now, I actually think I've got this item. I'm actually currently using it um, every day as we speak. Every time I have a shower, I actually use this on my body, mainly just the elbows and the back of my hands and stuff like that, just because I'm always working with my hands. And the elbows, I just, I don't know why, but they just seem to always, uh, let me show you. They always seem to like get discoloration and they're just a bit scaly there. I don't know why, but I do use that um, on my body mainly for those areas, and I really, really like this stuff. So I'm actually glad that I've got another one just because I am using the other one every day, like I said. So I'm glad that I have a um, backup of that. So I'm gonna put that there. And guys, this retails for $39, and it's available from lowandgrip.com. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy that I've got a backup of the one that I already have. All right, guys, so the next item we have is from Mary Grace. Now this is, uh, Soothe Intense Eye Cream. Ooh, an eye cream. That's always nice. I do love getting skincare. I have a whole lot of skincare. Um, so the only skincare that I'm getting lately is from my Lumi boxes, but I always appreciate an eye cream. Now this has 15 mils of product in it, and this retails for $50. Wow. And it's available from marygrace.com.au. So let's open her up. I've never tried anything from this brand. Now on the back it does say it's cruelty, vegan free, and it's um, made for sensitive skin, which is always nice. It does have a 12 month expiry date on it as well. This is what it looks like. It's actually got really, really nice packaging. It's got a nice gold um, little lid on it. Um, I won't put any of it on right now. I just wanna see if I can smell it. Wow, that actually, that smells really, really nice. It smells like a really fresh um, hand cream or body butter or something like that. 
Mm, that smells really nice. So I'm excited to use that. I'm going to put this in my skincare drawer. All right. So next item I have is from Garbo and Kelly. And I actually have two items from them. So I've got a lip definer. So I'm, I'm guessing that's a lip liner. And then I've got a matte liquid lipstick. And I think that's in the shade Rock. So this is what the matte liquid lipstick looks like. Really nice packaging. I love that it's got all the little stars and everything all over it. And then this is what the lip liner um, packaging looks like. Um, now these two items, the matte liquid lipstick is $32 and that's available from garboandkelly.com. And then the and then the lip liner is $25. And again, that's from garboandkelly.com. All right, so let's open both of these up. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a pink nude shade. That's really, really pretty. Let me do a swatch of that because I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. Oh, that smells... Oh, that smells really nice. It's between vanilla and caramel. Oh, wow, that smells nice. All right, I don't know. Did I just get some on my nose? Nope. Okay, let me do a quick swatch of this. I've never tried any of their I've never tried any of their liquid lipsticks before. I have received a brow pencil from a previous Lumi box and I really like that brow pencil. So this is what the shade looks like guys. It's a really really pretty shade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry down. Then at the end of this video I'm going to run my finger over it and just see how transfer proof it is. So I'm really excited that I have this one and let's open the lip liner. I'm actually hoping the lip liner complements this liquid lipstick shade really well because then I can use both of them at the same time which hopefully they've done that um, for this box I can't open it let me just open it with my knife okay there we go so the packaging's black so it doesn't really tell you what shade it's gonna be um, actually the shade name is on the bottom so it is the same shade oh I love that these are wind up these are my favorite type of lip liners and eyeliners the wind up ones I don't really like sharpening lip liners or eyeliners just because you can never get a fine point on them. Um, they always break in the sharp and then you have to try and get it out. So the fact that these are like wind up ones, are, that's a huge bonus for me. Let me do a quick swatch of it. Oh, that's really creamy and that's really pretty. So that's what it looks like there guys. And oh, stunning. I'm so happy I've got both of these. So far I'm keeping everything for myself. I do usually have one or two items that I put in a giveaway, but so far so good. Um, I'm keeping everything for myself. All right, guys, so the next item we have is from Lorella. Now, this is a liquid eyeshadow. I did receive one of these last box, so I don't know if I got the same shade or not. Let me just quickly um, get the other one, just to make sure I don't have the same shade, because I don't want to open this one if I do have the same one, so I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back, and I just got my one, and this is actually in the shade Goals. So I don't have this one, so I'm going to open this one. Now, I haven't actually used this one, but this is what the shade Goals looks like really really pretty um i do want to save this i'm doing a nude makeup tutorial coming soon and i really want to um use that in that video so i might actually use this one as well and just test out both of the formulas in that video but let's open this one up and see what shade it is i'm just going to break the box because i know i'm going to keep this <laughs> whoa I was not expecting that shade. That's like an eye shimmer glitter. Oh, that's so pretty. I have to swatch this. Wow, that is so, so pretty. Oh, this would be great as an inner corner highlighter. But that is so pretty. I'm hoping the camera dims a little so you can see it. But wow, that's really, really pretty. Look at all the pink and purple glitter reflex in that. Stunning. Um, Wow, I'm really, really happy that I got this. Now, this retails for... $18 and I think that is such great value for a liquid eyeshadow. I mean that's got a lot of product in it and wow the color is just amazing. So I'm really happy I have this one and this one. So I'm glad I'm getting more um, products from that brand because I really love that brand. I actually reached out to them on Instagram and said how much I love their brand. They actually liked the photo that I posted on Instagram with the eyeshadow look that I did with their palette um, and they reached out to me. And yeah, we just had a really nice conversation through DM and I felt really good about it. All right, so the next item we have is from Basic Beauty and this is a jelly blush now. I have seen um, my friend Pure Lottie, who gets these boxes as well. She also has a discount code. I will link her video down below. And in her unboxing video, she always tries out the um, makeup throughout the video. So you can go check that out. 
I'm not going to open this because I know I'm going to put this in a giveaway. I'm not a huge fan of um, cream blushes or jelly blushes just because they always lift my foundation. Um, so I'm going to put this in a giveaway just because I know I probably wouldn't use it more than once. Um, and I don't want to waste it. So this will be in a giveaway. Now this is now this is in the shade Miami. It is cruelty free. It has a 12 months expiry date on it. And it retails for uh, $24. And that is available from shopbasicbeauty.com. Also guys, this liquid eyeshadow I forgot to mention is from Lorella, Lorella, Lorella Cosmetics.com. I think I'm saying that right. All right, so that's the first item that I'm putting in a giveaway. And then guys, the next item we have is from Basic Beauty as well. Now this is a bronzer AF palette. Um, it retails for $40 and it is available from shopbasicbeauty.com as well. Now let's open her up. On the back it says made in China, uh, 12 months expiry date and cruelty free as well. Ooh, so this is what the palette looks like. Now I'm actually looking at this and I don't think the middle shade is my shade. I think it's between the darker shade and the lighter shade. So the lighter shade has a yellow undertone. This one looks like a grayish brown. And then this one is the darkest. That might be a little too dark, but I'm excited to try this out. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna keep that item. And then guys, the last item we have is from Mary Grace and it's a satin sleeping mask. Now, this was the choice item for this month in this box. Every month you get to choose one item in your base or premium box. Now with these, there were four color options and I chose the color black because black is slimming and I wanna look like my face is nice and slim. So this is what the Unicarton looks like, guys. And this retails for $25 and it's available from macygray.com.au. So let's open her up, guys. Oh, this is nice. I'm actually I'm actually really excited to try these um, because I do work night shift and I sleep during the day. Now, my curtains I have don't block out the sun completely. I used to have really dark block out curtains, but the ones I have now don't block out the sun completely. So I'm actually excited to try one of these um, across my eyes and see if it actually, and see if I can actually sleep with a sleeping mask. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. It feels really nice and really soft. It is very silk-like. On the band, it's like a ribbed band. Um, so we'll see how so we'll see how this works on my face when I try and sleep. I don't want it to just keep slipping off. I do tend to sleep on my face, um, so hopefully it doesn't um, slide off. But yeah, that's everything in this premium box. I'm just going to quickly go off camera, guys, and add everything up, and then I will come back and tell you the total price of this box. All right, guys, I am back, and I just added everything up in the premium box, and everything came up to $253. Now, I only did pay $99 for this box, so I think that's great value. I'm really happy with everything I received. Um, I'm even happy that I received this because it is an item I can put in a giveaway for you guys to thank you for supporting me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the premium box to the side. Let's get straight on to the base box. So the base box is in the same type of box. We open it up and then we get the same thank you card and we have the list of all the items in this box. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to put the sheet in front of me and read it off like a professional. Ooh, okay, so we've got five items. In this box, we've got five items. We've got a couple more of the Gabo and Kelly. We've got um, the lip liner, and then we've got a matte liquid lipstick. So I've got two lip liners and liquid lipsticks from this brand, which I'm not mad about at all. Let me open the lip liner up. It's in the same packaging, and this is in the shade Harmony. Um, is this? And they're both in the shade Harmony which is great. Now these, again, retail for $25 for the lip liner and $32 for the liquid lipsticks. Um, and you can buy these from gabboandkelly.com. All right, so let's see what the shade is. Oh, that's pretty. So guys, this is what the shade looks like. And it looks like a deeper brown tone. It's still a nude tone, but it's quite deep. I'm running out of room where to put this. <laughs> Let me just do the swatch here above the other one. So that's what the shade looks like. I've just made a T. So that's a really pretty shade. It's a nice brown. And then let's swatch this liquid lipstick. So this is what the shade looks like. And it's not as brown as what the um, lip liner is. So we'll swatch it and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, it's got that really nice smell to it. Oh, I really like that. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually really, really pretty. This is darker than what it looks like in the tube. In the tube, for some reason, it doesn't look as dark. Maybe it's the lights. Um, but that's what the shade looks like. And this is what it looks like in the tube. In the tube, it looks lighter. It looks more of a pinkish tone. So I'm actually really happy that I've got that shade. So those are the first two items, and I'm really happy with them. And then, guys, the next item we have is from Lua. Lua? I don't know how to say that. L-U-U-A. Lua? I don't know. Um, it is a rose water spritz with hydroconic acid, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid. It has 100 mils of product in it. And I think it's made in Australia, Brunswick, Victoria, Australia. Wow, I think this is an Australian product. That's really nice. On the back it says, hydrate and glow. Lightly spritz your face with Lua Rose Water Spritz. Relax, enjoy white hydrates and invigorate your skin. Save the glow. That's really nice. All right, let me just spray this on my face. I don't have glasses on. Last time I sprayed um, a setting spray or something, I had glasses on. So that was embarrassing, but I don't have my glasses on this time. I think I opened my mouth. Doesn't taste very nice, guys. But it smells really nice. It has quite a strong spray, so it's not like a mist at all. It's a spray. So maybe hold it away from your face further than what I did because, yeah, it's kind of a... It hits you in the face quite a lot. Oh. Um, well, I have really red eyes. Um, but, yeah, it feels really nice. I don't know if it's anything amazing. It's disappeared and dried off my face straight away, so it doesn't actually feel like it's left anything. It would be really nice on maybe a hot day, um, but it is quite cold today. It's getting into winter where we live now, so it's probably better for summertime. But I'm excited to try this, and I'm going to keep it for myself. So that's item number three. And guys, this retails for $28, and it's available from lua.com.au. I can't, I don't know how to say that name, so I think I'm saying it right. But I'm excited to have that. The next item we have is from, wow, this is heavy. This is um, from Macy Gray, and it's a face cream, Active Intense Face Cream. It has 100 mils of product in it. And guys, this is what it looks like, really, really nice. But this has a really good weight to it. It feels like it might be glass. On the back, it says it's cruelty-free, vegan, and for sensitive skin. Um, and it's made in Australia. Wow, and it's got 12 months expiry date on it. So let's open her up. Oh. And guys, this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. It is glass so that's really nice and it has like a light pink sticker all over it and i'm going to put this in my skincare drawer for now just because i'm using a moisturizer but i will get to this and guys this retails for 50 dollars and it's available from macygray.com so yeah that's item number four and the last item we have is from clean color k-l-e-a-n color and it's a overnight lip mask Ooh. And guys, this has 70 grams of product in it. This is what it looks like, really, really pretty. And the actual product itself is a light pink, so that's really nice. Now, I've only ever tried one lip mask before, and that was from Glow Recipe, and it was a watermelon um, lip mask, and I really liked that, actually. Uh, but I haven't used a lip mask since then. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this. I don't really know how to use lip mask. Um, it is cruelty free, um, designed in the US, made in China. Um, I've just ripped off the plastic with all the information on it, which was stupid of me. Um, it has a 12 months expiry date on it, so that's what's on the little plastic here. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells, smells like watermelon. Actually, it smells like watermelon. I'm just going to put some on my lips. Mm, that actually um, feels really, really nice. It feels, it just feels like um, a lip gloss or a lip balm. It's very, very soft and it tastes nice. It smells nice and it tastes nice as well. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. I'm going to add this to my skincare routine. Um, every time I have a shower before um, bed, I'm going to put that on my lips and then probably transfer it all over my pillowcase. But that's all right. I'm excited to try that. Now, this retails for $12 and it's available from discountbeauty.com.au. All right, guys. So that's everything in this box. I'm just going to quickly add everything up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and I've just added everything up. So everything totaled up to $147. Now, 
with this box, it did say it has a value of $150 at least, but $147 is $150, so it's not a big issue for me. I'm really happy that I've got everything, and everything in this base box, I'm actually keeping for myself as well. So I'm really excited about all the new items that I'm receiving. I've never tried any um, skincare items from Macy Gray. I've never tried anything from this brand, Lua. I've never tried anything from Clean Color, so I'm excited to try that. And then these two lip products, the lip liner and um, liquid lipstick. I'm, I'm really happy with the shade color that I got, so I'm excited about that. Now guys, let me just quickly run my finger over this liquid lipstick here. I'm not gonna do the darker shade, I'm just gonna do this one, because just because I think they're the same formula. So let me just run my finger over it and we'll see if it's completely transfer proof or not. Um, it's not completely transfer proof, but that's fine by me. Most of my lipsticks are not completely transfer proof. Um, liquid or matte, they're not completely transfer proof, especially when I put a gloss over it. So I'm not mad about that, but I do like to test if it is or not, just so I know in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with everything from my premium and base box. What I'm gonna do is I'll put all these items um, in the boxes, and then we can get on with opening all these items here, which I'm really excited about as well. All right, guys, I am back, and I've just quickly washed the swatches off the back of my hand and removed the premium base box to the side, just so I've got extra room for all of these. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into opening these items. I washed the swatches off the back of my hand, just in case I get some items I wanna swatch. I wanna have some extra room on the back of my hand. So the first item I'm gonna open is this little package. So it comes in this pink little envelope, bubble wrap envelope, which is really nice. Oh, okay, so I think this is one of the mystery boxes. I think this is the lip one because I have a ton of lip products. All right guys, so let's go through all of these. So the first item is from Astralis. It's a matte lip cream and it's in the shade Mamma Me. Um, this is what the shade looks like. Really pretty. I'm just gonna open this up and take the plastic off just so you can really see it. Um, the glare of the ring light um, can make it hard to see the shades. So I'm just gonna open this up. All right guys, so this is what it actually looks like without the plastic glare. Um, it's a really pretty color. I'm just gonna do a swatch on the back of my head. I have received a couple of these before and I actually really like the formula. It is like an actual cream formula. Um, so it's not that liquidy, it's quite nice. It is a full coverage matte lip cream and it's really, really pretty. So I'm actually really liking that. In person, it's more of a coral shade. I don't know if it's the light that are um, washing out the color, um, but on camera, it's not as vibrant as it is in person, but I'm really happy with that item. The next item we have is a uh, lip liner. That's what the shade is there. And that's a really pretty shade. Now this is from, and it's in a brand I'm never ever going to be able to pronounce. So I'll just put that up on screen. But let me just um, swatch it for you. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Now this is a pencil, so I will have to sharpen it, which is not my favorite, just because I can never get it to a fine point. That's the shade there, but I'm excited to try that. Haven't tried that brand or that formula, so I'm excited to put it on my lips. The next item we have is from Maybelline New York, and it's Baby Lips Crayon something something. I don't know how to say that. It's in the shade 20NN05. All right, so I've got the plastic off. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, um, it looks like an actual crayon. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if this is a lipstick or what it is, but I'll swatch it on the back of my head. Oh no, this is a very, very vibrant lip balm. It's almost like a cross between a lip balm or a lip gloss. It's it's quite nice, it's quite sheer. I'll do one swatch of it. So the top one is one swatch and the one beneath is a couple swatches. It's it's quite sheer. I, I don't know how long this would last on your lips just because it's crossed between a lip balm and a lip gloss. It's very glossy. It smells okay. I've never tried this and I've never seen it on the shelves before in Australia. So. I'm excited to try it. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a color balm crayon. What's a color balm crayon? So it's a lip balm, but it's in but it's got color. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay, I don't know how often I would use this because it's quite a vibrant pink, and I kind of like my balms to be clear. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have that item. The next item we have is from. 
Benny M. Um, it's a balmy. It, it looks like it's a balm. Let me just open it up. Okay, so this is more of the type of balm that I like color-wise. Um, I've never tried anything from this brand either. Okay, so this is really nice. You, you won't be able to see this on camera. You might be able to see the gloss effect. So it's right here and it is clear and it's just a gloss. That's the type of balms that I like. Um, just a hydrating balm to go over my lips. So I'm really, really happy that I've got this. I haven't tried this. I might put this in my everyday makeup bag that I carry around um, with all my lip products and everything like that. And then guys, the last item we have is from Physicians Formula. Oh, I've never tried anything from this brand. And it's a liquid lipstick. That's the shade there, really pretty. Packaging's really nice. It's in the shade Dose of Rose. Ooh, I'm actually really liking the look of this. Never tried this formula, so I don't know how it's gonna perform. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty packaging. Oh, okay. The smell, it smells okay. It's nothing amazing, but it smells quite nice. Oh, that's a really pretty shade. I've got a lot of these shades lately, um, but that's a really, really pretty shade. So that's it there. And that reminds me of the Garbo and Kelly liquid lipstick that I just received. Really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. And guys, that was the lip mystery bundle. So I'm gonna put everything in the bag so I don't lose it. But the physician formula, I'm really excited about. I'm really happy that I've got another one of these. The lip liner, I'm really happy that I got. Then we've got this clear balm that I'm really excited to have. And guys, we've got this color balm crayon that I'm a little iffy about. But I'm really happy that I bought one of these. I think this retailed for about $25. So I'm really excited that I got that. I mean, that Physicians Formula Liquid Lipstick is probably worth $25. So I've got my money back just on that item alone. So guys, let's get straight into the next one. So it's in the same type of envelope, um, bubble wrap pink. Oh, okay, so these are all the um, ones I bought online. Oh, I'm really excited about these. Okay, so these are all the colored liners that I bought. And this is from the brand... Um, beauty creations so I'm really excited that I got these I'm not gonna open all of these because I do want to test these out in a video um, so I'm gonna put these back in the bag but we've got blue yellow and orange there and then the other three we've got a green pink and purple so I'm really excited to try those out and then guys the third um, little pink bag is probably the eye primers so guys this is what it looks like and we've got a ton of very very vibrant colors so we've got more of the um, eye primers than we've got of the eyeliners. But I'm really happy that I finally purchased all of these. So, so pretty. Very, very colourful. Very vibrant. They're basically the same as P. Louise, but obviously from a different brand. Um, so I'm excited to have all of these colours. These are cheaper than P. Louise, which is always good. I think all of these eye primers only cost me $100. That sounds expensive, but look how many I got. I got... 10 of these and the P. Louise ones can retail up to $32 Australian each. So I saved myself a lot of money with those. And look at all the colors. We've got red, blue, purple, white, black, a nude one here. And then we've got all of these. We've got like a teal, aqua, green, orange, yellow, purple, and pink. So I'm really, really excited that I got all of these. Again, I want to do an actual in-depth video trying all of these. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. I finally got these and I'm going to add these to my single eyeshadow collection because they're basically an eyeshadow. Um, I'm really excited to try those. And then lastly, guys, I think we've got the Makeup Beauty Mystery Box with five full-size items. So let me just open these. Oh, okay. So we've got a lot of items in here. And it looks like I've got one item the same as my premium box. So let me pull that one out. Yep, this is, it is the Low and Grip Body Lotion. This one I might actually give away. I might actually see if my sister wants it. Just because I already have one in my bathroom. And I have that backup one already. So I don't really need three. So I might actually see if my sister wants to try this. Or a friend or something like that. So I'm going to put that to the side. All right, guys, so the next item we have is from Physicians Formula. Wow, this is the Butter Highlighter. Wow, that looks really, really pretty. Again, I haven't really received anything from Physician, from Physician, from, from, 
So guys, this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty packaging. Now this is in the shade Pearl and Pearly. Oh, okay, so it's a twist top. I thought it was one that you just um, snap open. I don't know why I'm smelling it, but this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. That's one of my favorite type of highlighter shades. It's like a shimmer champagne. Oh my God, that is so buttery. And I'm just gonna swatch it. Wow, guys, that is the softest highlighter I've ever, ever felt. So guys, this is what the shade looks like. So, so pretty. All right, guys, the next item we have from this box is a lip gloss. This is a lip gloss infused with ginseng um, and it's from The Balm Cosmetics. Oh, the packaging is really, really pretty. Like, they've gone all out with the packaging. That's really, really nice. And, guys, it's in the shade Boom. So, let me just open her up. Oh, wow. This is um a very, very pigmented shade. That's a lip gloss, guys. And that's the shade. That's, um, that's stunning. I mean, that's a really pretty color. But, wow, as a lip gloss, interesting. Wow, that smells, that smells really nice. Okay, let me swatch it. I'm running out of room to swatch things. I'll swatch it. Wow, that's really pretty. It's definitely a lip gloss. It's not as pigmented as what I thought it was. It's quite sheer. And that's what it looks like there. Really, really pretty. I actually like that shade. And I think that shade would actually go really nicely with this liquid lipstick here in that shade. So I'm excited that I have that. And then item number four is from... Seek Makeup, and it's a bronze block. So this is what it looks like. Haven't tried anything from this brand. It's in the shade Light. It has 9.3 grams in it. So yeah, let's open her up. Now this has a really good weight to it. It actually feels quite nice. And on the back it says it's got a 24 months expiry date on it. That's actually really, really pretty. But my bronzer and blush brushes are as big as this whole pan. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm just gonna get the one shade. Um, I could mix them all together if they were all bronzers, but there is a blush in there. So I don't know how I would really apply it without getting too much blush. If I'm gonna use this on my forehead, I don't want blush on my forehead. What I could do is I could just use this palette to contour my nose and I do put some blush on my nose as well. So I think that's how I'm gonna use this little palette. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that I've got this and I'm excited to try out the formula. So that's item number four. And the last item we have is from Glam by Marie Claire and it is a highlighter slash contour fan brush. And this has to be the biggest fan brush I have ever had in my collection. It's, it's huge, but let me open her up. I actually really like this brand. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. Now, it feels really, really nice. The actual brush itself is very, very um, soft, and it's not very dense. So I'm actually really happy I have this, and I will use this. And yeah, I'm excited to have this in my collection. All right, guys, so that's everything unboxed. I'm actually really happy with everything I got from my makeup mystery box. Now that retailed for $29, but I did have a voucher for $20 off. So I only really paid $9 for this mystery box. And I got a amazing highlighter. I got a lip gloss, which is amazing. I got a brush. I got a little bronzer and blush palette. So I'm happy about that. And then I got this low and grip body lotion, which this retails for $38 from the top of my memory. So this definitely pays for the full price of the bag itself. And guys, that's everything unboxed in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell just so you know when I upload a brand new video. I will link my TikTok and Instagram down below. And I will also leave my code down below. So if you do want to use um, the code to save 10% off your first subscription box, feel free to use that. And guys, thank you for watching this video. I know it was probably a long video just because I had so many things to talk about and so many items to unbox, but I do appreciate your support and I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later and all my love. Bye.